Hi, it's Tuesday the 2nd of July and I'm here with the Daily Astrology and a little bit going into the week as well. Um, have you? I'm going to ask you a question first of all. Have you noticed that you feel a bit despondent, maybe like something's dragging, like you're pulling an anchor around with you, like you're walking through treacle or molasses, as they say in the States? Do you feel as if you want to get up and go? Do you feel as if you need to do something? You, you you feel as if action is called for, and yet you can't get any action going. You feel as if there's nothing, there's no drive. Where would you head to? You can't seem to get goal-oriented, but you feel as if you should be, and that depresses you. And then you go around thinking, well, I'm not quite sure what it is I'm supposed to be doing or why am I feeling like this? I'm asking the question. I'm going to just share this chart and, and show you why it is I'm asking this question. Let's shall we do it that way. OK. Right. So here we go. I, I think the answer lies here. Um, Mercury has now moved into Leo. Now, I have been talking for the past few days about the amount of feminine energy in the sky. This amount of feminine energy, it, on the one hand, is good for our souls. Its soul speaks feminine. It speaks water. And therefore, it is a time for us to get more aligned with that aspect of ourselves. And this is all, all OK until we start to be able to see something different. And then we can make a contrast we let's put this another way we don't know that we're sitting in the light unless there is darkness which we can compare with um we don't know that we're in dark if we have never seen light so let's say we're used to being in feminine energy it always feels like that a lot of um meditation and ruminating <laughs> and considering things but not much movement um okay now something has happened in the sky so the little planet mercury has gone into gemini and sorry has gone into leo i'm concentrating on the share and i'm not looking at the uh, so it's gone into leo a masculine sign and not just a masculine sign i mean probably the most masculine masculine sign um and therefore the resonance with that part of us, which is mind, can now feel as if, or see the difference, that's a better way of putting it, can now see the difference between activity, action, drama, and nothing's happening. And so we're aware of action, drama, potential, creativity the need to instigate initiate get going was this some come on but <laughs> because there's not much else in the sky to support this um what's happening is we're just aware and so we're aware of masculine we're aware of the the prod in the side but there isn't a lot to actually get us going now the moon over here at 29 of Taurus has been in feminine feminine energy um, and so really it's just cooperated with the feminine it's just sort of like you know gently cruising down the river we are lying back on the lily pad um, however moon moves into Gemini now okay Gemini is a masculine sign having said that it's not it, it's Robert, the, the masculinity in Gemini comes from the air quality. Um, and air is very good at goal orientation, leading the way, noticing what has to be done. However, Gemini is the lowest air sign, is a little bit immature, a little bit juvenile, a little bit flighty, can't really be trusted. It it, it would rather step, out, step aside than get into conflict. So... Gemini isn't a terribly strong energy. Um, however, when the moon does get into Gemini, it also 
gets into the territory where the influence is coming from Jupiter, um, a definite masculine fire planet. So we've got more going into fire and probably enough to rouse a few of us into action. Um, those with strong Gemini element in their chart, um, other air signs, for instance, may feel suddenly, yeah, I think I know what I need to do. Oh, oh yeah, I've got it now. I know I'm going to drive to so-and-so and I'm going to go to that great shop that I love and I'm going to buy such and such and then I'm going to go on from that into... Um, so we can get... The plans are working and we can, we've can got the get up and go. Um, however, we still have quite a lot of feminine waiting. So that's why it feels as if nothing's happening and it should be happening um and so therefore what would i say that we should do with this guy as the moon is going into gemini then it would be wise to use the things that gemini is best at and that will always be writing researching education learning but also short journeys local neighborhood local environment that kind of thing so if you fancy going litter picking in your local environment, um, then it will be good for you because it's exercise and it's very community spirited. Um, however, <laughs> Mercury in Leo goes, Ew, I'm not litter picking. <laughs> I think together the creativity of Gemini and the creativity of Leo lead us down the path of creativity to be honest with you um and and so it, it's go and do something lively maybe a performance maybe you know uh, watching a play being performed outside if you're in the northern hemisphere in the height of summer we've got all our fates and fairs going on and um this sort of thing so there's a lot of community spirit about connecting up networking these kind of things will work now, am, am I saying that there, this is then the time for this energetic burst of initiation, instigating, starting something, really going for something that you think, oh, my God, yes, I'm now going to start my major project, a complete overhaul of the house, redesigning all the rooms, redecorating. No, I'm not going to say that. Oh, I think that's just a little bit too much energy um, at a time, too much energy required at a time when there's not that much available. Um, however, I would say, well, actually the planning might be good. <laughs> Get it all down, the detail and everything, that would be useful. Um, anyway. So I hope I've explained why it is that you feel like that, if you feel like that. If you don't feel like that, will you please tell me? Because obviously I'm not getting this right then in that case, am I? Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Um, and I hope that was useful. Namaste.